Good morning. I'm going to take the, a minute to uh, fix a file for Michael uh, that he sent me that he's having some trouble with. Uh, it's one problem that a lot of folks do have trouble with, uh, and that is uh, when you have a path that appears to be a closed path, it's purple or pink, uh, and if you have advanced design, uh, then you find that it doesn't shade in. Uh, or if you uh, don't have advanced design, when you try to make it a cut path, um, it doesn't convert correctly with an offset. So uh, let me get this opened up, and we will see if I can flip over here to Design Edge. Make sure maybe possibly you can see that. Okay, here it comes, I believe. Yep, there we go. So what I'm going to do, I saved this and I took out all of the other uh, the other pieces in his file and left just these two uh, because they're the problem uh, children. So if you look at the outline of this star, it's actually showing in pieces, <clears throat> but it is a purple path, meaning it's closed. On a straight path one like this, it's pretty easy to see the problem. Uh, but sometimes it's you know all connected together uh, and you can't tell where the start and stop point is um, and it's more difficult but let, let's let's look at this I'm going to just copy this out here for us to look at um, so see this is a straight segment of this star and it's purple and it's just a line <laughs> so if I select it you can see that it's one path selected three nodes total and what that tells me is uh, it has a node here that goes to here, straight back to here at the beginning, and is connected. So this is technically a closed path. Uh, let's call it a rectangle that has a width but absolutely no height. So it's two lines connected right on top of each other. Um, I could go in here probably and break it at the node point and move Oops, can't get a hold of it there. Let me see if I can break it at this node point also. Yep. Then I'm going to just select. I bet there's one line on top of the other. I'll move. And so you can see I have two lines that were connected on top of each other. Which that will happen if you have two paths on top of each other directly and you join them. Uh, it joins it at each end and that causes it to be a closed path. So let's look at what we can do to fix it without having to go through and break each individual one. So if you do have a closed path uh, that is actually just supposed to be an open uh, or a, an, an entire outside perimeter, uh, then this is a, a good way to fix it. So we're going to go into our design settings and if you've been to my class or you've watched my videos, you know for sure my strongest recommendation is that in this design tab, link path settings, Gap distance to jump I set to zero. Delete overlapping segments within an inch or distance I set to zero. And that is uh, for most of my drawings. Now when I have to fix a problem, uh, then I uh, choose to put some numbers in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it these pads are directly immediately on top of each other. So I'm going to tell it to delete overlapping paths 0.001. Okay? So at one thousandth of an inch, I want it to delete an overlapping segment. And just to make, <clears throat> make sure they join up, I'm going to put a little number in this gap distance to jump so that it'll connect at the end. So let's try that, 0 0.002. Now, I haven't tried this. Sometimes you get good, great results with the first set of numbers you try. Sometimes you don't. Uh, so we'll find out together. So the way you now have to apply those settings is to select the drawing and we'll explode it which is control X and what that does is breaks it apart into its individual arcs and lines uh, so it will would have broken that previous line when I broke it end to end manually it would have done that in one step so we're gonna yes explode them now you can see everything's a white path I could come in here and move this single path off okay and you can see that it would it would get out of here. Um, but I don't want to do that on every single one. 
So I've exploded it all. I'll select it all and push J to join it. Let's see what happens. Okay. Now see what it's done is deleted all of those overlapping paths and linked the ends together where it broke it. So I'll select it all. D for detect intersections. You can see none found. N for cut path. Yes, do the holes. So you see now I have no intersecting paths. It makes the outside offset correct and everything works. So if you have run into that problem before, uh, it is not entirely uncommon uh, to, uh, to have that trouble. I've answered the question a lot of times uh, in class uh, and uh, on chat. So I'll refer people back here. But let's, um, let's just kind of recap. So what I did uh, when I had an overlapping path um, that I assumed to be because it was a closed path, but it didn't shade in, um, just go into your design settings, put a very small number for the uh, delete overlapping paths, and then put a very small number in uh, for uh, the gap distance to jump. Uh, maybe a slightly larger than the overlapping so that if it does create a little gap, it can, it can join it together. Uh, then select your drawing, explode it, J to join it or link it back together, uh, and most of the time your problems will be solved. Um, if you haven't uh, come to a class and want to, we are back to that. Uh, most of the places we go have uh, good sanitation and uh, uh, cleaning uh, practices in place. And so uh, we're uh, having successful classes. Just got back from North Carolina. You can find information on those at learnplasmacam.com. And I would love to help you guys out any way that I can. If you ever have a question, uh, feel free to email me, message me on Facebook call me or make a comment here on YouTube and I'll do what I can. Thanks guys. Have a good day.